Shreveport City Council passes a much talked about bond proposal tonight. It was originally for $220 million, but was decreased to $185 million, which cut some parts of the proposal. Fox 33's Alexandra Meacham joins us live in studio control with more. Alex? Yeah, that's right, Markel. So the bond proposal barely passed 423, so it will head to the voters in November. A bond proposal brings debate inside Shreveport City Council, leaving Councilman James Flurry as the swing vote. I can vote with the, the board and kill this thing, but it's not the right thing to do. We need to have democracy. Let it go to the ballot and let the people decide. Voting with him, Councilman Willie Bradford, Jerry Bowman, and James Green. And this is the time to do it. Now, waiting? I promise you, we wait. There's going to be some more excuses. I just wish that everybody could come together and do whatever we can to make this city a better place. But I'll be supporting it and, uh, in hopes that we can get some things done. Voting against were the newer council members, Lavette Fuller, John Nicholson, and Grayson Butcher, saying they support the public safety parts but think a ballot vote should be postponed. A lot of it is because I just feel like the District D, to a certain extent, has been left out for many years. And you can't say it's because of urban sprawl anymore. I do think that we need and deserve more specifics. The bond proposal spends 6.2 mils in expiring bonds to cover police, fire, street and drainage upgrades, while cutting out the parts for smart city technology and economic development, which disappointed Mayor Adrian Perkins, who says it would not raise taxes. So I've lived the story that we've heard today about the neglect in these neighborhoods. Um, I don't have to like drive by it to see it. Uh, it's been a lived experience. I uh, was blessed enough to go off to West Point and go off and, and fight for the country to see the world, went to Harvard Law School. Uh, and what alarmed me in seeing all that was that I felt that the world was passing three point by. And now that it has passed, Mayor Perkins will spend the next several months selling it to the voters so they will pass it on the ballot. Markel? Looking forward to seeing what the final outcome is. Thank you so much, Alex.